Hi, right, everybody. Down here again. I just wanted to show a video and bring up a little topic here about selling stuff on eBay and Craigslist. You know, I don't know about all of you, but I know some of you about watching your videos are kind of crafty on some stuff that you guys like to do. Be a passion or a hobby or not. And mine is making art out of scrap junk metal. You know, things like that. I'm thinking, you know, if somebody wanted to, that's another good source of selling items on eBay or Craigslist, whatever you choose. And I just like to make things out of uh, discarded metal. It's one of my passions. It's art. It's art. Probably that I've had for several years now. And I sold a few items on, on eBay in the past, but mainly I make them now just for my own desire, just to display. I'm here by my old brick barn showing you some of my stuff that I make. Uh, let's see. And it's like this crane I made out of a sickle. Sickle bar guide for the head. Um, that's my dog, Paco. Be quiet, Paco. Shut up. Quiet. And the body I made out of a circular saw and a post hole digger and there's some wire for the rebar and uh, let me see here I forgot to mention my shovel owl the shovel owl made out of some washers circular saw some other, other scrap metal laying around and of course the cat circular saws and nails and stuff and that made me a plane a weather vane, sheet metal, and some fangs. Why don't you be quiet? No. I think he's trying to talk to me. And here's one of my projects. It's too big to sell. You're really distracting me. It's uh, I call it a bottle tree. I made out cobalt blue bottles and a pole and some yard ornaments. I mean, scrap metal yard stuff that I found later on. I think it used to be a telephone pole at one time. Not a telephone pole, I'm sorry. Um, clothesline pole, yeah. And here I get a little turtle I use for a plant stand. And I made him out of a, let's see if I can focus. I made him out of a wood burner top. Put on some cast iron tub legs. I don't know if you can see. Uh, sewing machine and doorknob for eyes. Now let's quickly go over here. And this brick barn here is where I make all my stuff. Well, I just thought I'd mention it. Now let's see who we got. We got another shovel head mask. Uh, the sun's really distracting. I don't know if you can see it. And bike seat and mask. And these things I just use. I like just for display. Something to put on my barn. And I see another shovel head. I call him the tribal man. Made out of circular saws, horseshoe, railroad ties, washers, and other scrap metal. And of course, if I get sheet metal, I like to make things like this pig here. Let me see if I get a better view of my you know, displays here. This is my barn I use for a workshop and displaying my projects and hoarding some of my eBay and auction finds. You see, it's a big old two story 1920s brick barn. They have here in the country, so 
There's no ordinance on this stuff. Thank goodness. But yeah, whatever your passion may be, it's painting mosaics or welding like me. Another good source of getting items for free like this. I get metals for free basically off the side of the road and then I just make art projects and I can resell them. But I, I have sold some items on eBay, but just a tip I thought I'd mention and show them. Okay. Well, I gotta try to get back to doing what I'm doing. And thanks for watching.